so hello everyone welcome back with another video of salesforce geek channel and in this tutorial we are going to cover an interesting use case and it is going to be a simple one but we are going to see how we can create task and these tasks are going to be automatically created whenever a dml operation will occur so the scenario which i am going to take is really simple whenever our account is created with more than one lakh of revenue and right so what we need to do we need to create a related task like okay this is a high potential client and you need to follow up with the primary contact of this particular account correct so before moving ahead i want to show you something if i move to my account object and on to my account object if i go to field and relationship here i have one field called lookup field and that is called primary contact and this particular uh, lookup field will basic basically hold the value of the primary contact like who is going to be the primary contact of this particular account right so what i am going to do i am going to uh, create a task and relate their task with uh, primary contact as well and the account as well so for that what i am going to do as you know that the creation of the task basically depends on the creation of account so it is going to be a record triggered flow and so we are going to create a flow for that let me click on flow select record triggered flow and click create and here is one interesting thing that i am going to do in this particular tutorial i am going to do this with the help of two different different elements one is create record element and the other is action element that we have so first of all you need to define on to which object your trigger trigger should be so as you know creation of a uh, task depends on the creation of account so what will be the triggering condition account object record is the triggering condition like creation of account object record right so what i'm going to do here i'm going to select account and then i'm going to select a record is created in the condition requirement i'm going to select annual revenue that is going to be greater than 1 lakh dollar then i am going to select action and related record and why because as we are going to create a related record and we need to relate that particular record to account and contact so that's why i am going to select action and related record and as you know that we are also going to relate that particular uh, task with the primary contact so here i am also going to apply one filter primary contact is null boolean false that means we only going to create task if we have the annual revenue greater than 1 lakh dollar and the primary contact is available onto the account correct so here i am going to select create record element onto the canvas let me type create record element so let me provide the label over there create follow up task and then i'm going to only create a single record so i'm going to select one how to set the record fields use separate resources and literal values in the object i need to type task and now in the field values i need to simply populate the value of the task record so first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to provide assigned to id or you can say owner id of the task who is going to be the owner of the task so here i am going to provide record dot owner that means the owner of the account will be the owner of the task as well now i am going to click on add field here i am going to provide let's say activity date then i am going to add who id then i am going to add what id then i am going to add subject then description right so these are the fields i am going to populate onto this particular uh, task record so let's say in activity date i am going to provide the value today plus 1 let's say tomorrow date so here i am going to create a new resource and that is going to be a formula field sorry a formula resource and let's say due date data type is going to be a date 
and in the formula I am going to simply type today then I am going to click on plus and then one so this will provide me the tomorrow's date let me click on check syntax so it is a valid one select done then who ID we need to provide so as you know who the if you know who ID and what ID like what is the difference between them then it's fine if you don't let me explain you if you need to relate a task record with contact or lead then you need to provide the who ID because who refers to a person and in Salesforce contact and lead refers to a person right and let's say if you want to relate the task to a particular object other than contact or lead then you need to provide what ID right so in this particular case we are providing both because for who ID we have contact for what ID we have account right so in the who ID I am going to select record dot primary contact correct and in the what ID I am going to select record dot account ID or you can say record dot ID now in the subject I simply going to provide high value client and in the sub in the description I'm going to create let's say text template or you can say task description then in the body what I'm going to do I'm going simply going to select view as plain text and the reason of selecting plain text because if you select rich text then your description will appear with the HTML tag so I don't want to do that I simply select view as plain text and I'm going to type the message this is a high value client please follow up with the primary contact of this account right uh, I am going to click on done so here you can see we provided everything that this particular task record wants right so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on hit save and in this I'm going to type let's say create automatic task on account creation now if you want to provide a description you can but for saving time I don't want to provide any description or into nor into the elements of the flow right but it's a best practice to always provide descriptions to your salesforce flow and if you want to know the reason why let's say you are working in a company and you beautifully created a flow over there and it is working fabulously but later uh, some of the business process get changed and uh, you left the company right now you know what you implemented into your, into your salesforce flow a new developer or a new salesforce admin came into the picture so if you did not provide any kind of description into your flow it's kind of difficult uh, if it is a complex flow right there are a lot of elements over there so it's going to be a hectic job for that person to understand the flow what it actually do so if you provide the description at least that person will get an idea like okay what is this flow all about so that's why this is called a best practice to always provide a descriptions to your elements to your flow description right so please always do that let me click on save and click on activate so what I'm going to do I'm going to build a new account so account name let's say rework publication now what I'm going to do okay you are seeing primary contact and email field here right which is a required field but I already changed that let me refresh my page so that it will reflect the latest changes yeah now it is working fine you will see all the details on to the first of priority basis let me click on let me provide the name let's say rework publication in the primary contact I am going to select let's say new contact and that is going to be let's say Shubham Bharadwaj and hit save okay I also need to provide phone so this is the random number I provided let me click on save now 
so contact gets created and it is also populated onto the account level now let me provide the revenue so let's say the revenue is four lakh dollar now i am going to click on save so according to our flow uh, a task should be created over there onto the account right so here you can see high value client so one field we forgot to add into our flow and that is called priority i will show you how i am going to do the same thing with the help of uh, action element right so then I, I can add that field that's called priority right so i am going to click on this particular task to just to show you all the fields that we basically populated over there so here you can see uh, subject uh, we provided high value client due date is for tomorrow's date right priority is normal uh, because it's a default value we did not provide it and obviously we are going to set it as high because uh, the due date is very close here you can see the message into the comments now the main part related to basically the vote id here you can see the account id is available over there right rework publication and name of the primary contact that we basically fetch it from the account level so here you can see few other details as well account revenue and opportunity amount so i will also populate the account revenue uh, from the create record element but i don't think so this uh, account revenue will be available into the action into the action element that we have so what i am going to do i will move to uh, ta uh, again the same flow now what i am going to do i am going to create one more uh, task but this time with the help of action element that we have so here i am going to select action and let's say i am going to type task so when you will see uh, when you write task over there you will see new task quick action new task right so this is the one that we need to select not the one create new task because that is related to feed item that we don't need to touch the action we need to select is new task let me click on it now again uh, first of all it will ask for you to as provide a, a, a assigned to id so here i am going to provide record dot owner id correct you can also populate it like that and you can also do it like that record dot and simply provide the owner id both are the same thing right now in the due date i am going to simply provide the formula where due date now you will see name id so name id means who id i already explained what is who id and what is I, what id so i am not going to explain again but in the name id means who id and in this we need to select the primary contact so record dot primary contact then in the related record id obviously uh, it is going to be the account id because it's a vote id right so here i am going to type let's say record dot id and related to id is a special field let's say you will provide a contact id so it will automatically map to name id and if you provide uh, account id into this related to id so it will automatically appear into the a uh, 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 related id over there right so it is like it will automatically uh, make a decision whether this particular field is a uh, lead or contact or other object field right so it will automatically set to the name id if it is who uh, if it is a contact and lead and it will automatically map this field to a related record id or related id if it is a what id that means other than contact or lead now i need to provide subject because i am not going to provide related to id i already provided who id and what id into my this particular scenario right so i am not going to provide related to id now in the subject i am going to type a uh, high potential client so now you can see we don't have any option to set priority and all right so this is the limitation of this particular action uh, there are selected fields that you can provide into the uh, this particular action so whenever you need to customize further always select or always use create record element let me click on done okay we are missing something okay type create task from action also uh, just to make a difference i am going to add from action 
so that uh, you will know the difference like okay this task is created from uh, action element and that earlier task is created from the create record element right so as we don't have the option to provide priority into our action element what I'm going to do I will add into the create record element let me click on edit and now I'm going to add one field that is called priority and I'm going to set high now I'm done with my flow let me click on save as click on save and let me click on activate I hope this is clear to you right now the thing is if I move back to accounts and I'm going to click on new and in this time I'm going to type show your work publication I'm going to select one uh, contact then what I'm going to do I'm going to provide annual revenue let's say seven lakh dollar correct so these are the fields that is the criteria in order to create an automatic task right but this time two tasks will be created on the account because one task is created from the create record element and the second task is created from the action element that we have again uh, if you have a question like okay Shubham when to use action element when to use uh, create record element the answer is pretty much simple you have more modifications into the create record element and action element is kind of limited in terms of providing the data into the task so I prefer create record element every single time because it allows me to provide more flexibility in order to provide the data what I want in my task record so always select according to your choice now I am going to click on save so the account is created let me check whether two tasks are created or not so here you can see two tasks are created and this time you can see high value client and there is a red flag over there that means it's a high priority task and the other is high potential client from action element so I hope this is okay why we have two tasks because first we added create record element then we added the second one which is action element right if I click on view more so you cannot see any other task available onto this particular account let me click on high value client so on to the first task that is basically populated from the create record element right I forgot to add this account revenue but what you need to do in order to provide account revenue let me click on add field and let's say if I type revenue over there you can see account revenue is a custom field this is the field that I created right this is not a standard field so you can ignore it right so what I'm going to do I just want to let you know here you can see all the data is populated this time priority is also set to high earlier it is normal but now it is high so this provide more flexibility in terms of data what you can provide into your flow and if I show you the other one that we have is let me go back to the account and select the other task that we have so here you can see we don't have any uh, description of the uh, task we don't have any uh, priority because these are not the option available in terms of uh, if in terms of providing the data to the task element or you can say task action element right so that's why you can see the limited uh, data over there but create record element we have uh, more data more flexibility in terms of providing the inputs to our task so that's it from this particular tutorial but here is one more thing that I uh, got from the comments that I in my previously created videos like how to assign a particular task to a particular user so I am going to create an another video for that particular thing like where I am going to show you how you can assign a particular task to a particular user in Salesforce flow so after three days maybe you will see that video for now that's it from this video thank you so much